Monkeypox, a.k.a. Mpox, is now a major problem in this country. Let's talk about it. Hey, Dr. Ali, uh, we're hearing now again about monkeypox, or now it's commonly referred to as Mpox. And first of all, what kind of problem are we having out there before we establish exactly what it is? Yeah, Isaiah, the problem right now is that the number of cases have gone up, right? And so uh, in Africa, we've had about 15,000 cases that have already been reported, and we're in the third quarter of the year so far. This is more than what we get on an average year from Africa uh, in terms of number of cases. Uh, and so the World Health Organization has uh, declared this a public emergency uh, and are now uh, mentioning these and have put out a warning for folks to be aware of this and to be discussing it right now and to be taking uh, appropriate precautions as well if you're one of those folks that is at a high risk. And if I can just piggyback on what you just said, they just released some numbers here in Houston, Harris County, and they said so far this year here in Houston, Harris County, there have been 28 cases of Mpox, or as many people know it, monkeypox. So what is it exactly? Yeah, Isaiah, monkeypox is a variant of, uh, in, in the same family as chickenpox or smallpox, it presents with a rash uh, and fever. This rash presents as vesicles uh, on people's hands, mouths, all over the body, all over the trunk. And what we see is that this expands, it grows, and it causes lots of pain. And it also causes lots of symptoms that are general symptomatic symptoms like, you know, fever, body aches, chills, um, just the body not feeling well. And this lasts for two to four weeks, Isaiah, and it's very highly contagious. And lots of folks that have other medical comorbidities or um, are uh, sick with other diseases um, may have a higher prevalence of death with this. And that's why it's declared such a big deal right now. And that's why we're seeing these numbers rising uh, and why we need to discuss it. No. When you said it displays itself in a rash form, but I've seen some big bumps, some uh, almost not like looking uh, marks on people. Yeah, Isaiah, those things initially, that it may be different stages of where they're at right now with that disease. Initially, it, start, it starts as a small pip, um, pimple, and then it progresses, more little vesicles grow around it, and then it becomes to this big thing that uh, looks, you know, really uh, dark, uh, and then it starts to feather off there, and you start seeing this black uh, marking that's remaining. And so it's in different stages that we can see this, and um, some people get it all over their body, some people just get it around the mouth. This is not a sexually transmitted infection. It occurs through direct uh, in close contact with skin with other folks like that if are you're touching somebody, you know, that's exactly right. Yeah. Or if you touch a surface that was uh, touched by somebody who's infected. However, we know that obviously during sexual contact, there is close contact. So mm -hmm. yes, you can get it during sex, but it's not a sexually transmitted infection like chlamydia or gonorrhea is. And we are seeing that there can be contacts that can be made with other surfaces. Um, and that's why we are talking about like cleaning hands, uh, you know, making sure that you're using hand sanitizers um, when you're in a public bathroom to take appropriate necessary precautions. And for those who may be just joining us, once again, let's talk about how dangerous it is. I mean, is it life ending or is it just a miserable condition to have? I I'd say it's a vibe. Virus and most viruses are um, last about a few weeks. And what happens is that this is a virus that gets easily transmitted to other people. And if that person may have other comorbidities or they may be sick on top of that, it can result in death. We don't generally see that. The occurrences of death are low. The occurrences of you know, getting sickness where you're hospitalized for many days is low, but this is something that the numbers can expand rapidly uh, and it can be transmitted very easily. And really quick, let's go over again, how can it be treated? Uh, is there a cure or can you just treat the symptoms? It's symptomatic management, Isaiah. So treating the symptoms, if it's fever, if it's pain, different things that you may have are treated symptomatically. That's the key. 
If you are at a higher risk, and CDC has put out a really good diagram showing that you, if you are in that uh, risk, higher risk category. Be careful out there.